welcome back to your irregular Latvian lesson straight from Lauki, the Latvian countryside. It's beautiful, is it not? But do you know what it takes to survive in the Latvian Lauki? You're about to find out. Let's go! This, by the way, is Džūkste, the Lauki where my babushka lives and where I spent a good chunk of my childhood. The first thing you need, as my babushka would say, is udens, water. Without udens, your dars, garden, wouldn't grow. You cannot nomazga traukus, wash your dishes, and you cannot nolaist udeni, flush the toilet and your poopies away. And yes, my toilet is in my kitchen because my grandma built this house with her own hands and she was a history teacher. There are of course alternatives to pooping in the kitchen. Every lauki has this. A maiņa ar sirsniņu. A little house with a little heart on the door. Also known as a dry toy toy. And that is why my husband doesn't come to stay with me here. If you are a glamorous Lautinieks, a person from Lauki, you may also have a dītis, a pond, which is very useful both for catching zivis, fish, and if you don't have a shower like us, also for those purposes. Unfortunately, our soil here is quite Malaina, clay, e so while other people's dietis can be transparent, ours keeps this constant greenish brown murky tone. But that did not stop me from swimming in it every day when I was little. In Lauki, there are also many Lauku Darbi, country work to be done, such as to avoid erces, ticks, which I have the biggest fear of. We need to plout zali, cut the grass. In the good old days, it was done with an iskapts, a scythe. But my babushka is modern and has motorized devices such as this plow machine, ruakas plow machine, handheld grass cutting machine, and also a tractor. A tractor. I think lauki are also quite incomplete without a katis, a cat, and a suns. A dog, pifa, pifa nuts, pifa. Mm. Many Latvians are also passionate bitenieki, beekeepers. My babushka is one of them. So, over there, we have bishumayes, bee hives but I am very much allergic, so I am not going to take you any further. To take care of your dars, your garden, you're gonna also need some dartniecības rīki, some gardening tools, such as lapsta, a shovel, to uzrakt zemi, dig up some ground, and also bury all the peles, mice and chuskas snakes that your cat brings you as gifts. For raveshana weeding, you will need a kaplis, a... What's the name of this device? I have forgotten. But my grandma has also found a, a second use for it as a walking stick. And finally, to collect all of your trimmed grass and dead leaves in the fall, you need a grabeklis, a rake. If you are a true Latvian, you know never to leave your grabeklis lying around like this, because then you can accidentally step on it and get hit with it in the head. And Latvians even have a saying for silly people who make the same mistake again and again. Uh, we say that they uskapt divreiz uz tā paša grabekļa. They step twice on the same rake. And finally, you also need a kjarra, a wheelbarrow to transport all the produce that you grow or sometimes just 
large stones that annoy Babushka and that she requests you to dig out and transport from one end of her property to the far end on the other. Speaking of produce, of course it is impossible to actually eat everything that you grow in Lauki, so for that we have a stunis, a shed full of burkas, glass jars. And by the way, this might be why some Latvians sometimes make fun of the Islamic burqa, the word, because we cannot help but to have associations with our own burkas. These burkas are, of course, for skabeshana, salishana, un marineshana. So, souring, salting, and marinating the produce so that it can stay fresh for an eternity in the Babushka's Pagraps, uh, the basement. Seriously, when I was little, this is where I thought hell was. I will just give you a quick sneak peek in case there is someone dead here. And after all that hard work, you also need an atputa, a rest. And my uncle has invested quite a lot into expanding our resting spots here. So whereas in the past, my grandma just had a small chair here to smoke her hard earned cigarettes after a full day of work, she now has the choice of all of these stylish chairs. But at the end of the day, there is nothing for you to do but to sit, relax and look around at the beautiful scenery Ainava landscape that you've created. Well, that my babushka created, but I'm here to enjoy it anyway. Unno vis! Thank you for watching this irregular Latvian episode on Lauki. Of course, this is only my Lauki and this is no way reflective of all Latvian Lauki. If, however, you do find some similarities between my Lauki and yours, leave me a comment. I know it's not the most glamorous place in the world, but it is kind of... kind of home. And I used to love it here. And now I'm getting used to being okay with being here again. Let me know if you enjoyed the video or if any Latvian partner or friend has ever taken you to their Lauki. And how was the experience? So, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon maybe. Bye!